What is going on, people? Today, we're going to talk about how boring entrepreneurialism is. It's actually boring. Today marked my first day of staying off Facebook, ignoring all of the distractions, and I got five videos done. Some of the videos were training. I'll get into that later. But entrepreneurship has become a sport. And like any other sport, it's become a little flashy. And I got caught up. I got way caught up. Because I started doing the things that I needed to do for my business. And as a consequence, I've seen a bump. And it's like, okay, this was here all along. This was something I could have been doing, but why? Flashiness, flexing, chasing that dream, trying to look good, all kinds of crazy stuff. So what I'm going to do is take it back to the basics, which is sitting my hind parts in the chair and working which I am tired. I am like really tired because I've been working all day. Let me uh, show you something. We will get into that because I know there's a lot of folks who are just like, I don't know what's going on with the content. I don't know what's going on with Glendon. Are we going to get these things that he promised us? And yes, you are. You're going to get them. Because I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you, uh, today is Monday, it's President's Day. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going. See, I even changed the name. I finally got this handled. Yeah. So I even changed it. And check it out. Check it out. There's videos. There's content there. See? I know y'all were like, it ain't going to be no content there. There won't be no content. Oh, yes, there is. And copy and paste templates. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to work on this tomorrow and should get it done. And then we're going to move. And I actually have to change that because there's more stuff there. Then we will... Um, begin working. I'm just going to lay out the trajectory of what's going to happen this week. Tax Slayer. It's on deck. This is what's going down. So we're going to get this one done. This is pretty much done. I need to add some more of this and then we'll start addressing this which will be some outlandish crazy stuff that only the bold <laughs> only the bold can be part of you want those secrets you want that esoteric stuff okay let's see if you got the courage to do it see if y'all can uh break off into that good old crispy hustle all right so uh i'll put together a code let me do that right now before i forget let me get in here as uh, i was saying about entrepreneurship you really have to do many boring things. Like when I was a salesperson, whenever I did what I needed to do with um, my prospecting, with my, I made my phone calls. If I made my phone calls and if I made my, um, Let's see if I did all the protocols of a good salesperson, which is prospecting. It's. Um, hold on, I'm trying to do two things at once and it's not working out. So your code today will be Monday. Oh, crap. Let's talk about making phone calls. Making phone calls is hard. Going into the DMs is hard. And this is contacting people you don't know. Most people are going to say no. Uh, most folks are not going to like you. 
most people are just going to blow you off. And after hearing all of that rejection, it's enough to make a person question their worth as a human being. So that's one of the reasons that people avoid these things, right? But those are the very things that make you money. Kind of crazy. It's kind of sad, really, because right now we have so much opportunity, but it's covered in work. It's covered in a lot of work. It's covered in an amazing amount of work. And people don't want to work because it's not glamorous. Like I, I'm going to tell you, because I actually had to log out of my Facebook accounts, all of them. Because what Facebook do, and it's so insidious, is it will, if there's someone you're fighting with or someone that creates controversy, they will show you that person's feed. Facebook monitors all of that. And, you know, I am the Bitcoin dissenter and Bitcoin's going up and it was just like, see, it's going up. And I was like, stay away from the issue. And I asked myself a question in the moment. Having this conversation with this person, is it going to make me any money? Nope. Is it going to make me healthier? Nope. Is it going to bring joy to my life? Nope. So I went to the app. I went down and I logged out and I, I ignored that. I'm going to ignore it for the rest of the month because entrepreneurship is boring. If you want to be a successful entrepreneurship entrepreneur, be boring. Be crazy boring. Be unrelentlessly boring because when I do my things, and I'm going to talk about that because I'm trying to get this coupon deal out all right so it's monday and we're gonna do the bundle if my computer will do what it needs to do all right come on come on baby you can do this all right this was what's happening this week Probably today's Monday, President's Day. I am going to finish up Fat Cat Secrets. Create a YouTube channel to save five to twenty-five thousand dollars off your taxes. I'm going to get a little deeper in there. Then I'm going to work on Tax Slayer, which is going to be gangster. And I'm going to finish up this. So for those of you who want to get in, you can get seventy percent off the price by using Monday. And I'm going to go ahead. And make sure that I put this deal here. And something else that I'm doing is um, I am not sending out the Facebook. Uh, not the Facebook. I'm not doing a text notification squad. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. And I just got to put today's special, which is under the video. It's Tax Slayer. 70% off. And uh, I'm going to say some stuff that's probably going to be very controversial. So hold on. Use code Monday. All right. So it's on the video. Okay. So now I can focus. Yep. I can focus. Okay. And I need to get out of that because that looks all crazy. All right. So this is one of the reasons uh, I'm doing this. You're going to see a great deal of more c different content, which is going to run a lot of people off. Because, um, like I said, I hit my goal of posting three videos today and I'm going to hit my goal tomorrow because I already got one video queued up. And this is going to be it. It's going to be a heavy, heavy burden. And why am I doing this? I need to change this channel. I need to change the complexion. And I also need to get more entrepreneurs and more hustlers on here because 
And making entrepreneurship more exciting and getting more people, I'm not getting real hustlers. I'm not getting the people <clears throat> who want to actually be something, actually build something. I'm not getting those folks. I'm getting a lot of folks who like the knowledge and want to be entertained every day, but they're not really, you know, trying to do anything. And that's got to stop. So where does it start? It starts with me. I'm the one generating the content. I am the one that is creating this stuff. I'm the one that's putting it out. So the problem starts with me. And with me, <laughs> with me moving forward and doing different things, then I'm going to suffer uh, a short term. I guess you can say a short term uh, reduction in traffic. And it's going to be painful and it's going to be because there'll be more topics like this, because the thing is, everyone is looking for something easy. Uh, people are looking for something that is uh, simple, yet delivers great results. And that's just not going to happen. It's just not. So let me tell you about my day. Woke up and I actually did my coursework. Well, actually, I had breakfast first because uh, this was what used to happen. I would come on. I would do my first live stream at 830. Then I would go to breakfast around 10 or something. Then I would come back, drink my hot tea. Then jump off into some uh, development, some research, Facebook, and I do this. Audit your time on Facebook and social media, really, with a, a note, notepad. Audit it. It will shock you how much time you're wasting. And I was like, okay, am I an entrepreneur? Am I going to make it do what it do? If I Am I going to um, grow this business? Am I going to move forward? Or I'm just going to continue to talk. So... I had to change my behavior because a lot of things that were happening were not really good for the business because I'm, I'm serious. I'm being real because, you know, I talk to people and it's like, oh, Facebook's not that bad. It will steal so much of your time per day. So I'll, I'll let that go. Then I got into the tax slayer course, dropped some videos. And then uh, I process some more videos. I've been working all day nonstop. And, you know, part of the problem is I'm out of habit. I used to grind like this all of the time. And I am so out of habit. All my hustle muscles, they, they ain't strong no more. My hustle is just not strong anymore. It, it's, like, it's like a little old lady hustle with a stick. My hustle used to be supreme. It used to be elegant. Now it's just it's an old lady hustle. We got to change that. So uh, a lot of you're going to see a lot of crazy different, a lot of crazy content. You're going to see some stuff that's going to be over the top. And the goal here is to be a great entrepreneur, which means that I will probably take a hit on the fame aspect, which is cool because money's going to replace fame. And I'm cool with that. I always wanted to be the person that was rich and no one knew. And I'm going to get back into that mode, get back into writing because all right, now I can talk about the sales thing. If you're a good salesperson, you need to prospect all of the time. Not when you feel like it, not when you think it's a good time to prospect. You need to be prospecting minimum five days a week. You need to be looking for customers. Even when your pipeline is full, you still need to be cranking in customers. You still need to be putting in more stuff. And if you're a great salesperson, you're always going to be prospecting and you're always going to make your phone calls or you're always going to hit your DMs or you're always going to be doing certain things. Now, one of the things that's going to happen with the Hustlers Kung Fu University channel is we're going to get into deeper topics and we're going to be talking about things of more substance because... Um, I'm going to give YouTube what it wants on one of these videos, and then I'm going to talk about my thing because 
let's be real. When you talk about working, when you talk about process and systems, and that's another thing I'm going to talk about in a minute, a lot of people are not interested in that because they're trying to be well off working as few as hours as possible. I'm letting time go. I'm getting out of all this stuff. And today I realized that my processes were janky because I haven't been doing them. So the processes are going to come back. You're going to see the videos get better. You're going to see the thumbnails get better. And uh, it, it's just a wild situation because one of the problems that I've had here is I've been trying to be an entertainer. And I haven't been trying to be an instructor. And being an instructor, it's not going to get as much love per se as being an entertainer and talking about all of these crazy topics and all of this hot stuff. I'm going to the core. So there's going to be a lot of sales training and there's going to be a lot of prospecting uh, talks. I should say talks. So you're going to see me talk about a lot of different things, a lot of nuanced stuff. And there'll be more topics like this, because if you want to be a great entrepreneur, you're going to be boring. Like that dude who's just sitting there like this on the thumbnail, but he's in this wonderful modern house. Because today, uh, after I stopped working and I went to the gym because my brain was fried, I just sat back and looked. I saw a guy in the Porsche. He was 50-something. I saw a guy in the Range Rover. He was 50-something. I saw a guy in a... It was a certain kind of Mercedes. It was a coupe. He was 50 some. And I'm just like, I have not seen, quote, a young person in a Lambo in my neighborhood ever. Ever. Maybe 38 would be the youngest. And I started to think, like, all these entrepreneurs with the real money, they're not doing this flashy stuff. They're not doing this entertaining stuff. So that's that's got to go. And once again, I have to get grounded and have to be real. And this is the first day of this. And I'm going to tell you, it's hard. Who here likes jacking off during the day and messing around on Facebook and playing around? Who likes that stuff? Everyone does. I like it. It's fun. It's got to go because it's not making me any money. And I'm just going to, it's going to be hard because uh, I realized I was addicted to Facebook and they do that intentionally. So it's anything and like it's funny. So what's going on, Afri? James Alexander. Oh, the videos are going to be coming hot and heavy. Uh, once again, this is the chunk week where I just chunk stuff up and I just figure it out as I put stuff up. Because one of the things is there's going to be a lot of content, but it's going to be a lot of different content. And I'm trying to stay away from trendy stuff. I'm trying to get away from certain things. There might even be a vlog up in here. So, James, get ready to watch some killer content. Uh, Afri, I am stopped doing the text notification because that isn't working the way that I want it to. I assumed when I started it that I would have about 1,500 people on that list now. I don't have 1,500 people on that list. It is stalled at maybe 527. And the reason it's stalled is I've become an entertainer versus a salesperson. I've become uh, an entertainer versus a businessman. I've become an entertainer versus an instructor. And I got to stop that because those people who get on that list, they want the free content and anything that's talking about sales. Mm, I don't want that. And they jump off after too many sales messages. So that experiment is not working the way that it should. And I got to readjust that. So uh, I'm not sending out any more text messages. I am trying to wake up this channel naturally and organically. So that's why you didn't get it. Yep, George. Well, it's not... It's not Facebook. It's the people on Facebook, you know. Oh, no. Uh, like I said, the schedule and stuff is changing. What's up, Steve Wilson? Great, after great afternoon. Liked all your ATL videos. Brought back memories. Atlanta was good to me on the entrepreneur side. That's, that's something else I'm going to get into in a minute. I'm glad you liked it, Steve. I got the collection yesterday. What are you talking about? Yep, I'm not doing the text anymore. What's up, Johnny? I 
I got, I ha yes, the Betty White hustle. It's the Betty White hustle. Now I, I got Betty. Betty White got to go through uh, a machine and get younger because the hustle is not good. I like it, but I'm reducing my time on Facebook and even YouTube. Uh, that too, Diana. What's up, New Jer New Jer Juru girl? What's going on? Afri, no, no, no more self pleasure. No. Oh, you got the book collection. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh man. We we're about to get lit in a way that y'all have never seen me before. What's up, Chris Monroe? Because one of the things is is if I want a substantial business, I have to throw out a lot of this stuff that's coming my way. And you know, I don't think Gary V intentionally tried to make entrepreneurship like a rock star thing, but it happened. And I see more people talking about being entrepreneurs and worshiping entrepreneurs and instead of doing the work of entrepreneurs. And I didn't completely fall off the wagon, but I, I, I took some steps backwards and I'm sitting there like, no, 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 this, this is not good. This is not good. What's up, Charm Smith? What's up, Saxy, Saxy Moxie? No, this, this is not good. And... <laughs> Stop it. I'm telling you, even even the uh, camera is getting into it. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that's going on, but I'm kind of coming down from the entertainer thing. And it's just going to be more educational stuff. It's going to be more substance stuff. And I'm just going to stay away from certain topics. Uh, there will be more Atlanta stuff because... Uh, someone that posted a comment, which I disagree with, that Atlanta's just like any other city. I will say this to you, Mr. Commenter, if you watch this video. What other city has so many black folks in charge of stuff? Outside of maybe Baldwin County in Los Angeles, some stuff up in D.C., Chocolate City, uh, Maryland. There, I mean, this is why people come here and they're like blown away because this isn't happening at home. Like, so Atlanta's not like any other city, but part of it is, and Atlanta's always been cliquish. Atlanta has always been a city of who do you know and who likes you. It's always been like that. Uh, years ago, the Ada Omega Qs, they had a Q house across the street from Greenbrier Mall. Now, the Ada Omegas were the money cues, the doctors, the lawyers, and then there was the, I forget the chapter at Morehouse, and they didn't really mess with those bros because they were young and broke. They were all in the same fraternity. And I know I'll get some Omega Q who go like, oh, no, you don't know nothing like that. Oh, 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 oh. All that other stuff. I know, I know, I know. I just saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just, I even saw older bros walking around with a new shirt on, saw them out, no intake. But, you know, I just don't see stuff. So part of making money is a very much a process driven situation. And I will be displaying my processes like, you know, today was a good day. We hit plan. And how many of you had sales jobs where you hit plan? Because what these folks have done is worked out a system like so today doing this third video, I actually hit plan. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to have dinner and then I'm going to do some more work. But it's going to be more uh, planning and development stuff. It's good. I had to listen to the first piece of the online business for 500 again and again. That's good. That's good. A lot of people don't get Atlanta. <laughs> they don't, Steve. I mean, this is it's a very special place. Uh, Diana Thompson, I'm fascinated by this hoarding buried alive. Atlanta survived the Civil War, rebuilt those neighboring townships to New Orleans. Well, it's, it's really interesting. Like um, on a point that I want to address is I am not an Atlanta entrepreneur. And this is kind of part of the fascination with entrepreneurs. And what I mean by that is, yes, I live in Atlanta. Yes, I'm an entrepreneur. But I make 
hardly any of my money in Atlanta. Let me say that again. I make hardly any of my money in Atlanta. I had some live experiences. Only a handful of folks who live here. There's only a handful of folks who live in Atlanta who buy my courses. The rest of y'all are like all over the United States, all over the world, London, Germany. So with that being known, for me to come on here and like say, hey, I'm an Atlanta entrepreneur without the full disclosure, because this is where people get the trickeration. This is where people get caught up. You'll have someone like me who's like, look, you know, I'm in Atlanta. I'm living well. I'm doing I'm living the life. Right. But I, I leave out that important detail that most of my money comes from online, like 95 percent of my money comes from online sources that are not in Atlanta. You will look at me and like, yeah, he looks like he's doing well. Mm hmm. That check, check, check. You know, he's got this. He's got this. But without me telling you that disclosure, I could gas up all kinds of people. I could like, yeah, come to Atlanta. You can make all kinds of money. Look how I'm living. I'm not living off Atlanta people. I, I, I have no Atlanta income sources. My last Atlanta in course income source stopped 2009 when I was shutting down the business. Now, that was I was an Atlanta entrepreneur, upscale garage sale. That was an Atlanta entrepreneur pursuit. And part of the reason that I didn't want to speak on that was I currently don't make any money in Atlanta. I currently don't know anybody in Atlanta. Well, I, I know people. I, I just for me to go out and put up a video saying, hey, I'm an Atlanta entrepreneur. This is how you make money in Atlanta. That would be intellectually dishonest. It wouldn't make any sense. I could fake it, but that would be wrong. So one of the things I'm going to do is uh, there's a cat. I, I, and that's one of the things I got to do when I get off here. I got to reach out to him and see if he wants to be on the show. Because, I mean, we're going to be doing a lot of running and gunning. I mean, you might see a podcast off my iPhone. I'm taking it back to my original hustle, which was like when I look at what I did from home, what I did from the spare bedroom, what I did from the basement. I was really hustling. I was putting out crazy content. I was talking to people. And that is part of that happened is I made a lot of money last year. And I, in many regards, have become lazy. And, you know, this this is one of the things like, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be honest with myself. And I look in the mirror and I was like, dude, you got to make some changes. You've got to straighten out your hustle because your hustle's like a Betty White hustle. I'm old lady hustle. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even, I kind of know how it happened. But it's scary. It's really scary. Uh, Storm Chandler, I've been told I should move my family's nonprofit organization to Atlanta. Why? If your family's nonprofit organization is making money and it can sustain you where you are, it can probably sustain you here. Fine. Storm Chandler, I don't I don't know if that's good advice. I don't, I don't know the particulars. You're. You're a Farnix. How long do you recommend doing a sales job to be ready to start on your own? Uh, about three to five years. I've only been to Atlanta airport twice. Does that count? No, Chris Monroe, it doesn't. Ganji, I've been to airport. That's funny. Storm Chandler, how is it there for children in schools? At large, the schools suck. Uh, this is why you got to be in a nice neighborhood. They'll have some charter schools here and there because it, it's the education system is very bad here. Pro, let's see, let's say primary. And like the school the neighborhood I live in, everyone sends their kids to private school. I'm in Birmingham. It's so slow here. That's wild. Joe, I sell online courses. Curious, how did you get to this stream? J. Kolkowski's. Steve Wilson, I've seen entrepreneurs drive in ATL. Atlanta's a place where if you have drive, you can make it well. 
you have blacks and whites are doing sensational. You just got to have a niche and be fearless. Seven plus malls. Yeah, you can make some money here. I, you know, I, I don't doubt that. I made a lot of money here when I was serving the citizens of Atlanta. Sure did. It's just now I'm serving the citizens online. George Bush, those who leave when you start to pitch your products are missing the whole point. You provide value, then they ask, then they ask for the money like you teach. They should pay attention to that. Well, that's one of the reasons that uh, I'm putting up so many videos because I've noticed that the education and the, the entertainer has built this like this crowd of folks who like to hear me talk, but don't want to buy nothing. Don't want, and really, that's it. They don't want to take action. Louis the Seller, it's like boxing. The hunger comes from the desire to become a champion. Once you're a champion, the struggle is not to become lazy and to stay a champion. You lose the eye of the tiger. Something like that. It's ugly. It's real ugly. You may see me uh, podcasting or doing a live stream from a treadmill in the morning because uh, I'm getting ready to readjust my morning routine because my morning routine now is it's just junk. It's janky. Like my morning routine a few years ago, I would wake up and my goal was to write a thousand words before I did anything. Every day. And uh, that's why I was putting out so many books. That's why I was putting out products and stuff. I'm not doing that anymore. What's up, E-Pimp? Malachi Stafford, I'm listening to an audio book for an hour a day and doing the action and change. I, I, I think that's like one of the best ways to do it. Listen and then do. What's up, Patty? So part and that that's like another thing. Like, what do I sell? And part of that, because like that's why I wanted to know where did he come from? Because sometimes people will be just cruising YouTube and then YouTube will recommend my video, my live stream to this person, and they never heard of me before. So that's why I asked, and he hasn't responded, so he's probably gone. And we got to answer that question because um, what's going to happen, and I, you know, it may happen. It may not happen. I, I don't want to call it, but I feel since the content production is going to be going through the roof, a lot of people are going to be turned off and leave because it's going to be, it's like, it's like a fire hose. You can only drink so much water, but I know how YouTube works. And all I got to do is get that one video to pop <laughs> just one. And it radically changes the channel. So that's what's going on. So, you know, hold on. You're going to see all kind of crazy topics and stuff. And I'm going to be more thoughtful because um, one of the reasons. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been following you for a while, but I was wondering if you had any other online businesses. Last year I had a consulting business. I had a partnership in a small e-commerce thing that I did not like. So... I got out of that, but, and that's something else too, because I'm thinking like the consulting, there's so many things I can do, right? And that's kind of the problem, but I really miss writing and publishing. So that's coming back as well as all of these videos and all of these topics. Cause like I said, this week's going to be really intriguing because I'm going to throw some stuff at y'all that y'all never seen. George Bush, do you think your routines changed due to the comfort of the money you make or just part of the process of growing? Oh, it was definitely the money. Oh, it's definitely the money. And it's been like that for, and the thing is, this isn't like just happened last year. It's been like this for about three years. It was a slow de-escalation of the hustle. Because the thing is, I'll be honest, like I put in a lot of hours, but I didn't put in a lot of quality hours. And that's got to stop because today I probably done more work today than I've probably done in some weeks. And I'm talking about real work that moves the needle, real work, substance work, not just I'm there, which I was doing a lot of. Now, Steve Wilson, I heard you the first time I knew you had something to offer. Appreciate it. It's going to get more valuable because the thing is. 
uh, there, like a lot of folks don't know. For some reason, a lot of people are moving to Atlanta. Like, let me show you something. Just, just go ahead and bear with me because uh, this is one of those confessional streams. Let's see, YouTube. All right. Oh, well, let's go here and go moving to. All right. So. You see this all over place, all over the place. Moving to my new apartment. Moving to Atlanta, moving to Atlanta. You'll see this. Right. Don't come to Atlanta. We're full. That's wild. Now, you'll also see something else. Now, what I'm doing, okay, because this is a big topic, right? And you'll already see some stuff because, you know, I know how to make you make YouTube do what I want to do sometimes. Well, when I try, you see this video moving to Atlanta. You see this video. I just put this up today. Moving to Atlanta. You know, someone asked me what kind of car I drove in this video. Apparently, they didn't watch the beginning of it. And I think I got two. My intention. What? He's here? Okay. Didn't know that. So this is. My intention is to own this page. Now, one of the things, you know, we'll talk about this in the YouTube course is you can find a topic and you can dominate the topic and get all the traffic out of it. One white couple moving to Atlanta. That's funny. One. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> they wrong. Okay. Now, check this out. And that's one of the topics. I got to find like two more topics to wake up the channel again. Now you'll see this. Leaving Atlanta. Ready to leave Atlanta. Why I left Atlanta. I'm leaving Atlanta again. I'm leaving Seattle. Oh, back to Atlanta. Uh, finally, leaving Atlanta. They're getting out of here. Uh, typically, people come to Atlanta and leave because they can't make it. Or they don't have support. Or they get homesick. I mean, there's no place like home, right? So, I'm just finding all kinds of stuff. So, that's the, the plan. Is to dominate that keyword. And then to find two more, three more topics and to dominate those keywords. So, that's the reason you will be seeing so many videos. Because... Um, for those of you who care to have a YouTube channel, the way that you, you the way that new YouTube works is nothing like it used to work. Because when I started, I put up a video. I had like 10, 30 subscribers. Video get three, four, five hundred views. Um, part of that, to be fair to YouTube, is video inventory is at all time high, which is now. Remember Cameron's law at some part at some point all 30 part platform, all third party platforms behave the same. YouTube is now getting choosy because it has so much content to filter through, right? It's not personal, it just sucks, but it's not personal. So I've got to go ahead and reactivate this channel to where I'm like about, you know, 20 30,000 views a day. And then my money will come back because that's one of the tricks. And this is not an old tactic what I'm doing. A lot of um, online publishers will post on YouTube three to five times a day, seven days a week. And they were literally within three to four months be at 100,000 subscribers. Seems funny, but part of it is when you put out so much content, something's going to hit. Plus it. YouTube, because like I said, um, I've noticed that my subscriber count has been going up all day. It usually does not move that fast. So I just started this Sunday and it's already starting to pay off. And probably within two months, you'll really see a big difference with the channel. 
And this is the things you have to do if you want to be successful on YouTube today. Because what happens is, like, say you're being successful on YouTube and you change up your program and then you crash because uh, who was that I did yesterday? I don't even remember, but their channel is crashing. So YouTube give it and YouTube take it away. That's how it goes. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the videos were going. E-Pimp, Atlanta used to be known as the black mecca. Do you find that that is still true? Atlanta has always been the way that Atlanta is. Because there have been so many people. I mean, Dr. Martin Luther King was here. And you know how Dr. Martin Luther King made it? He had an economic base. He did not have a job from a white person. That was, he, he had the community supporting him. So if you understand how Atlanta works and you come with the right mindset, mindset, yes, it's a mecca. But if you just come with you broke where you are, you have no outstanding skills, you're just a regular person, Atlanta will eat you, chew you up, and spit you out. What's up, the Wild Jones Report? George Bush, you funny. Dude, that was just like, why? I'm like, why are you going? It was someone from New York, Bogarden. Johnny Walton, I have cousins in Atlanta, and Decatur's a pretty good place to live. Decatur's very interesting because um, Decatur has Emory University. And a lot of stuff stems out from Emory University and the Decatur Square. Decatur Square has Google Fiber. So, and the Decatur Square is next to, I forget, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually get to school. Uh, female college. Agnes Scott. So there's a college right next to the square, and there's a lot of stuff bumping in the square. So Decatur has all kinds of specialness. It's greater than Decatur. So you got that going on. Um, the Wild Jones Report. Great entrepreneurs sure are boring, Glenn. And I own a copy of the book, The Millionaire Next Door, The Surprise and Secrets of America's Wealthy. And that book breaks it down and confirms that fact. The Wild Jones. I remember reading it and my eyes definitely opened up. Jawan Johnson. I live in Georgia, but I like living on the outskirts of Atlanta. I mean, it depends. Like, you know, if you, you if you can get a job in Cobb County and you can live in Cobb County, that can be awesome. Oh, I'm going to do YouTube. Do, do I'm going to do DTube as well. It's just I got to get a process going. Oh, uh, dude, you 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 haven't been. You're not obviously subscribed. I put videos on both those channels. See, that's what I'm talking about. Folks ain't folks aren't keeping up. Atlanta was slamming those cheeks. <laughs> You've been watching Prison Talk, Big Hurt, because they, they, they're always talking about splitting cheeks. It's funny. But, uh, yeah, that, I mean, there's content up there already. Let's see. And one of the things that I, I have to put myself in is... The position to be patient because I'll put up some videos, right? And they will not pop immediately, but I got to keep putting up the content. But Disruptive Mail, let's see. Uh, there's a video up there. And we'll go back to, let's see. I haven't done anything with Digital Citizen. I'm kind of on the fence about doing some stuff with Digital Citizen because I'm just not feeling the current crypto craze. And it is a craze. It is a fad. You got all these channels. They're growing super fast. And there's going to be a big washout. So if I start a crypto, I mean, I can't just... I believe what I believe about cryptocurrency. I believe the overwhelming majority of cryptocurrency is garbage. And in time, the rest of the world will see that. 
So I could go there for the short-term gains, or I could sit here and build something of substance that appeals to me and makes me happy. Because one of the things that I've never done is just did something because it was trendy or it made money. I've never done that. And I think that's why I have a high happiness quotient. I'm like really dissatisfied right now with myself, not anyone else. It's just me because I'm like, I let my hustle slip and I'm very upset with myself about that because no one did it. It was just me, but I got to get it back. I got to get my mojo back. So that's what we'll be working on. And uh, I will be loading up content to these channels because the thing is, I have to go back to when I started YouTube. It was incredibly slow, but it was incredibly slow for everybody because one of the things is you're always looking at other people because you'll get someone that'll start a channel and they'll be like 100. Like this former porn star, she did a channel. She's like 150,000 subscribers in like four months. But, you know, she's a porn star and you can look at her videos online. Uh, not doing the text anymore. The Wild Jones, I first visited Atlanta in 1999 when I was in town on a college trip as well. As to be part of Freak Nick, it was love. Maybe lust as well at first sight, and I loved Atlanta ever since. Uh, why do you have some homelessness that have money but homelessness with mental issues? They They need help. From 285 South to exit 2 to around exit 55, then you have 85 South before you get to Noonan. It is untapped for development. I've seen where Camp Creek Parkway was, uh, now Camp Creek Parkway is popping. That's a spe that took a long, it took about 25 years to get that development going. They, they've been trying to do that for years. Uh, Wayne, uh, what is his name? Wayne Thomas or some? Yeah, there was, there's actually it had no effect on Atlanta's growth whatsoever. None. <laughs> well, you're human slipping and getting back. is better than being depressed and getting back. I don't have time to be depressed. See, since reality. I mean, this is the thing. Her channel just, well, part of it is, and this is another thing with YouTube. I found her not because I was looking for her, but because YouTube recommended her. See, that's the thing that I'm trying to get going again. Getting this channel to the point where it's being recommended to more and more people. It's recommended to some people, but I need more. Because since reality, if I had a t-shirt or something, I'd throw it at you, is correct. She just blew up, but once again, porn. And she talks about sex. She's attractive. And, you know, I can't compete with that. I'm not a chick. This is not possible. Uh, my cousins love watching you like since. Oh, we're going to get into all, all kinds of stuff here. I'm just letting y'all know. Uh, Steve Wilson, East Point took a major hit when they shut down the mercury plant. There was a lot of hits. Uh, East Point took a hit because now the Porsche owns that factory in the land. And then Doraville, the GM plant closed. And it really devastated a lot of those neighborhoods because you could kind of like Lockheed and Marietta. You can see based upon the housing who used to live there you can see where the worker bees used to live you can see where the managers live because back in the day people did not live 30 40 minutes from their job they lived just a few miles oh no i can't compete with like see this is the thing i can't compete with her and it would be a mistake for me to even try because i don't want her audience I mean, she can have them because it's just usually a bunch of horny dudes, or thirsty dudes who like looking at an attractive woman. She can monetize that. She can make money, but that's not my game. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's talk about that. Great entrepreneurs are boring. If you're flexing chances, you're not making money. 
normally this would have like 140, 150 people. There's like 50 people who are not here because I'm talking about a serious subject. And I'm going to continue to talk about serious subjects. And I'm going to continue to talk about things of substance because I got to re revigorate and re strategize this channel. So that's one of the things because the, the beauty of this is once I figure it out, I can make even more money with a smaller crowd because I'll, cause the thing is, it's not how many people you have following you. There's a lot of YouTube channels that have millions of views per month. They have a high subscriber counts and they can't make any money because they've built an audience that will not pay them. This is the thing. Oh, definitely. We're going to stick with the serious subjects. I'm glad you shared your feel that you got lazy. You're a lot more successful than me, and it just feels good to know you go the same as me and others. Oh, my dude, my lazy do nothing side is vicious. I also remember ATL took a hit with the Bell South singular deal. That, that building is just around there. It's just literally half a mile away. The singular building. Uh, it's true. Entrepreneurs need crappy jobs to build and gain experience before major success. <laughs> Whoa, I'm one of the serious ones. Who knew? Demetrius, she's still around. There's a lot of commercial property for sale. And also what I'm seeing is residential pricing is real interesting It's spotty because there's some spots in my division subdivision that have been for sale for a long time. I don't know what's the issue with the property, but it, it happens. It's happening. All right. So we're going to take a pause for money because I just went ahead and got rid of all of that stuff. All right, so for the new folks who showed up, this is today's deal, and it's real simple. It is the Tax Slayer Bundle. Uh, today, let's see, yeah. And it's actually under the video, and you want to get 70% off, use the code word MONDAY, lowercase. That's the deal today, because someone's going to ask, and I thought I would put it in there. And yes, I kept my word. Because I said I was going to work on this today. And by gone it, by dog doggone it, it did. I did it. So we've got close to an hour of content. There will be more stuff tomorrow and more stuff. And then I will move on to some other stuff. And then I will get into the sales course. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. Uh, one of the things I'm doing. And this is kind of, well, I'm pushing myself to be as productive as I used to be. I am nowhere near as productive as I used to be. The old me would have had these courses done already. And I'm like, okay. And part of it is, and I'll admit it, it's my Facebook addiction. I like messing with people. It's fun. It ain't profitable, but it's fun. So I got to like cut back on my fun because... Uh, like, you know, this is gone because my goal is to get to a thousand bucks a day before I grow this back and Facebook's got to go. And then we can get back into some more stuff because uh, I actually felt pretty good about today. I actually, you know, cause I, I know I'm going to sleep better tonight. So I think part of the, re I've been having some weird dreams and I'm going to, I'm going to tell you this dream. I dreamed that I was in the military. And we were about to be deployed to Bikini Island, the Bikini Atoll. And if you know what that is, that's where they conducted nuclear testing. And there was these guys who were repelling off of this bridge that didn't have any. It was just a, a bridge up in the air and they were up and they were down. And then I was in this room with um, all of these cell phones and electronic devices hooked up to their chargers. Interpret that. I have no clue to what that dream was about. It was just the weirdest dream. And there was apparently someone that I was in a relationship with who was already at 
redeployed and was trying to get them back. And then there was this other group of guys, and we were like, we ain't going. We ain't going. They did nuclear testing there. I don't want to be glowing up. I'm, weird, weird dream. Interpret that if you want to. Could be interesting. <laughs> Nobody's smiling. That's funny. Hey, Shep, I believe the substance uh, conversations will draw more real clients. I agree. I'm with a private equity firm and stumbled on your channel and watched your development. Oh, thanks, A. Shep. Uh, Bitten Boot. Is there a lot of entertainment media companies downtown Atlanta? No. And uh, the video I put up recently, there was um, downtown Atlanta is like very small. There's not a lot of downtown Atlanta. Yeah, I kind of stay away from that stuff. I I'm not even going to mention their names because. I want to get back to the real clients. The producer, Glenn and Greetings, what's your take on a younger entrepreneur, 27 with six candy bank? Do you feel as if social media is a good investment or investing in other platforms is just grinding till the check? Uh, the producer, I would keep my money in the bank and I would get up to 10 to 15 K and I will do whatever I'm doing right now to make money twice or three times as hard because I can tell you, 6K for a business is not a lot of money unless you've got something like a YouTube channel or a Facebook page. Oh, it is fun, Sense Reality. It is fun. Maurice, I I had to I deleted the app off two of my phones. Because I found myself checking it. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I read this special where they made it super addictive. Donna Thompson, what about managing office? Does it slow you a bit? Um, management does bring on some different resources. Josco. Yeah, I'm going to let it go because, like I said, they were trying to lure me back into it today. And I was just like, no, devil, I rebuke thee. I'm not going to go. But when you were corner leaping or astro traveling. <laughs> Steve Wilson, do you need help write uh, help writing some of your content? Good question. This is what I feel is going to happen. I've been checking a lot of people who have blogging YouTube channels, and then I'll go to their blog, and then I'll check the traffic of the blog, and they don't even have enough traffic to register at similar web or other you know traffic measuring devices. So what I feel is video and voice are the future, and I'm going to focus on that. Uh, the writing, I am going to put out a book. I'm going to definitely put out a book. Louis the Seller, I've been following you for years, and your best advice was turn off the television, and I did. I only watch Judge Judy because she's... <laughs> you know, I don't watch a lot of television, but social media has me. It has me, and I, I'm struggling. I'm fighting it. Uh, what does a consultant do? It depends. What what do you need done? Uh, since reality, boring is a sin in marketing, Seth Godwin. Now, that's 100% true. But once again, let's talk about who do I want to attract here? I could be entertaining and I'm going to attack, attract a lot of low substance. Uh, well, I shouldn't say low substance people. I'm going to attract a lot of people who really don't want substance. They want to be entertained. They want to have a good time. Those people typically only spend a small amount of money. You know, they'll buy movie tickets like Black Black Panther, like blew up almost 400 million. They'll buy stuff like that. But, you know, courses on how to become generation, you know, increase your wealth and courses on how to be more successful, uh, stuff that doesn't have a lot of fun aspect to it. They ain't, they're not listening to that. Uh, similar web was the best website you recommend. Oh yeah, because you see the numbers. Because someone will tell you that their website's doing next. You're like, no, it's not. Uh, Young Branding, yes. Uh, the book is going to be called Seven Figure Content.
Malachi Stafford, I told my brother and sister you can't make money off of how many subscribers you have. Man, a lot of YouTubers learned that last year. A lot of people had their income cut 70 to 90 percent. Oh, yes, yeah, since reality, I mean, I, I saw it with the um, my email list. It was just garbage. It was straight up garbage. And just to show you the difference, I started a new email list, and the only way you can get on it is if you buy something. Now, that list isn't that big. It's less than 300 people, right? But the open rate is 50%, and the click-through rate's like 20%. So I got to be careful not to, because I, I, I was supposed to send an email this weekend. But just to show you the difference, and I can't have any more popcorn YouTube viewers. Uh, Beauty, is it practical to learn four or five subjects at a time? If you can do it. Uh, I was thinking about a political channel, but I don't really think that adds value. So I'm not going to do it. But if you want to do it, yeah, this is a great time. The producer, I appreciate that, man. I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel for selling instrumentals and fashion. Uh, if you're really cranking out the content, I would sell music. I would stick to music. And then once the music starts bumping and you get a lot of people buying your music, then I would throw out the, the merch. I wouldn't do both at the same time. Troy Glover, escapism is a mofo. It excited you and people used it as an excuse to put things off because it's boring or difficult with a short attention span. Pretty much. Like today, I, I, you know, I was productive, but I, let's just say my superpowers have waned considerably. Um, this is the reason. And let's talk about the fundamentals of wealth development. How is wealth created? You must create something. You must like, you know, do this. You must take raw materials or a subject like, you know, a movie is value because you take these actors and the storyline and you turn into something beautiful. Uh, you transmute the plastic, the metal into these headphones. I'm going to stick with things that create value. And politics, now I will tell you, politics makes a lot of money. It makes a lot of money. But once again, I don't just do stuff for money. I do stuff to, to be fulfilled and to provide value to the world and help people out. So if it doesn't provide value, if it doesn't transmute ideals and concepts or raw materials into something that I can sell for more, I'm not doing it. Because this, this is one of my fundamental issues with Bitcoin. And I know there's so many people who are making money and they love it, but it's it's like rent seeking. It just extracts so much money from the masses and puts it in the hands of just a few people. That is not good. But, you know, people don't really care. And I'm, I'm done with it. Time to relax. It's very important. Even the POTUS needs to hit the Margo. Oh, no, I'm not relaxing, dude. Uh I'm going to tell you in a minute after I read this other content, this comment. What's up, games and graphics? No, no. See, what I'm doing is becoming more efficient. When I, all right, let's just put it this way. Let's say before I made the change, I was literally working one hour a day, maybe two hours a day. I don't know. Today, I put in a good solid eight hours of real work. I created, uh, I put content in the course that I can sell today, I can sell tomorrow, I can sell next year. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to become more efficient because if I work eight hours a day, real work, you know, not dicking around on Facebook, not checking messages, but if I worked a solid eight hours, five days a week, I would make millions doing real work, not half work, not distracted work, but real work like Calling on the phone, you know, um, making those phone calls. When, I mean, it's hard, but if you make your phone calls, you hit your numbers, you hit plan, you make more money. It's just really, really tough to get yourself motivated to do it, but I'm going to do it. 
Uh, let's see. Wealth, opposite sex, and stability. And also, I used to be somewhat like a minimalist, and I've come out of that. And it's not crazy because I haven't really departed it, but I have noticed that I have a bigger house and I have more stuff. It's not junked up. It's not crowded. Um, when I move, it'll probably be like 700, 700 maybe 800 bucks to, to move, which is not stuff because most folks don't know how to move and they don't know how to get rid of stuff. So part of this trajectory is become more efficient, get more work done per hour than just kind of just being there. Because uh, I'm like, I think what happened was consulting was so hard for me that I'm now relaxing because, you know, I was doing this, I was consulting and I was working seven days a week. And then I just kind of slipped off in this mode when the consulting stopped where I was just like doing nothing. <laughs> Troy Glover, the struggle is real. Could be. I just know that I'm capable of doing much better. Minimalism will allow yourself to embrace mediocrity for many people. William, thoughts on teaching financial advice as a financial advisor. That's going to be one hard pony. What I've seen on YouTube is the ones who are the most attractive and entertaining get the most money. You know, um, some millionaires are frugal. Uh, the ones I live around, they're not so frugal. Louis the Seller. I did. No, I can't really dedicate myself to one project. What I can do is dedicate myself to one thing at a time, and I get a lot of stuff done. What's up, Lon Mega? E-pimp, still better than having supervisors and managers breathing down your neck for their hours to make someone else rich. I agree. Because when I was doing those driving videos and I was going downtown Atlanta and stuff, and I was I was passing. I used to work a lot of suck jobs. And I was just in, like, I worked here. There was this cash checking, this check cashing store I had to go to because the checks that they gave us from the labor pool, you couldn't cash them at a bank. You can only cash them at this Chinese store. And I was just like, good Lord. You got a lot to be thankful for. All right. So with that, I'm about to bounce and I'm just going to let you know. Now, this course will pay off in time. And I'm gonna, like essentially you could create a YouTube channel. And the thing is, you got to create it as a business because the Internal Revenue Service can say it's a hobby if you don't do certain things. And you got to post one video a week. You just cannot like create this and post one video a month. They ain't going to fly. Post one video a week. And here's the thing. Whether the video gets views or not is not important for this strategy to work. And I'm going to put in some more examples and stuff. So I suggest that you go ahead and get Tax Slayer for 70% off. Links below the video. And use the code word Monday because I will be lighting that up tomorrow. And then I'll be moving to tax slayer for beyond the average citizen. This is where I will be talking about some quasi illegal stuff. Just to let you know things I had to do. And once again, let's have this conversation. There's a legal like. Raping someone illegal. That's very illegal. That's very bad. And there's like illegal speeding. So I'm talking about the illegal stuff like speeding, where you just get a fine unless you go in like 150, where they will arrest you and lock you up. I had a friend who had a Porsche and he got locked up. They did not let him go and they did not think it was funny because he actually did that. You, you know the joke? He actually just said that because the cop was like, do you know why I pulled you over? Because the cop was all breathing down his neck and everything. And he said, because I let you. Because <laughs> it was true. He's still like 150, right? And... uh <laughs> The cop did not think that was funny. Sir, get out the car. <laughs> Every time he tells that story, it's hilarious. But uh, anywho, go ahead, grab Tax Slayer. Um, you can get 70% off using the code word Monday. It's all in lowercase. And uh, I will 
check out a few more comments and then I'm gonna bounce. Well, thank you, Auto Leisure. Uh, let's see. I really love <laughs> that's wow. My few my supervisor doesn't breathe by my neck, but she's useless underhanded. <laughs> Uh, the Wild Jones report, those checks from the labor pool weren't, I mean, they were like weird checks. You can only cash them in certain places. Uh, I'm getting certified with Google AdWords, fundamental search and mobile. Also notice I need to brush up on Excel. Um, you need to brush up on keywords. Keywords are very, very important. That's wow. All right, you guys have a good night. Um, probably be back tomorrow like 5 because I'm changing the schedule, and then there will be more videos during the day. Uh, hot Song Beats, we're no longer doing the text notification. I'm working on waking up the YouTube channel organically, so that's what's going on. All right, be sure to get the Tax Slayer special. Links under the video. Use the code word Monday in lowercase. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m. Yes, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Have a good night.